Okay, we're going to start off by looking at color mixing. This is using the physicsclassroom.com great HTML5 interactives. So we've got spectral red, spectral blue, and spectral green. Okay, so let's overlap the circles and see what we get. When green and red mix, you get yellow. When red and blue mix, you get a color called magenta. If we get blue and green mixing together, we get cyan. So now we're going to put all three circles over top of each other. So red, blue mix together to give magenta. Blue, green mix together to give cyan. Green, red mix together to give yellow. And in the center, which is the overlapping of all three of the colors, gives us white light. Okay, so to make a diagram out of it, here's our red, here's our blue, our green, and I've just labeled them. Red and green make yellow, green and blue make cyan, blue and red make magenta, and red, green, and blue all mixed together make white light. So these are the mixing of light colors. These are not mixing of paints. So if we're to mix paints, we're not going to be getting these colors. So here's a second animation using the physicsclassroom.com. These are going to be using colored filters. We've got a spectral red, green, and blue laser, and they are firing towards a screen. If I take a red filter and put it inside this contraption, it only lets red light go through, and it blocks green, and it blocks blue. If I put the green filter, it only allows green light to go through, does not allow red or blue. If I put the blue filter, only lets blue light go through, does not allow green, does not allow red. Now, if we were to put cyan, and remember cyan is a combination of green and blue, so if we put a cyan filter, we'll notice that it blocks the red, but it allows green and blue to go through. Magenta was a combination of red and blue. So if we put the magenta filter, we see that it lets red go through and blue, but it blocks the green. And yellow was a combination of red and green. And when we put the yellow filter, it allows red and green, but blocks the blue. So we saw that a blue filter would allow blue light to be transmitted through and it blocked or absorbed the other two colors. If we have a solid blue surface, the only light it will reflect is blue. The blue light is reflected, the red and the green lights are absorbed. If we have a green surface, it would allow the green light to be reflected, the other two colors are absorbed. If we have a red surface, the only color that will be reflected is red, while the green and the blue are absorbed. So from our diagram of the spectral colors, we see that magenta is a combination of red and blue. So if we have a magenta surface, that means that the red and blue rays are reflected and the green is absorbed. If we have a cyan surface, cyan is a combination of green and blue light. So the blue and green rays are reflected and the red is absorbed. So yellow is a combination of green and red, which means if we have a yellow surface, it's allowing the green and the red rays to be reflected and the blue is being absorbed. So now if we have a white surface with our blue, green, red light coming in, we find that a white surface reflects all three of the rays. That's the reason why it's white. If we have a black surface, the blue, the green and the red are actually all being absorbed and there is nothing being reflected and that's why the surface appears black. Okay, so for the last animation, we're gonna be looking at putting colored filters over top of the primary and secondary colored circles. So as it stands right now, we're just illuminating it with white light. We can definitely see the red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow circles. I'm now going to turn on a red filter now, red filter will only allow red light to come through. Red obviously will be shown. 
magenta is a combination of red and blue, which means we should still see some red coming out of the magenta. Yellow is a combination of red and green, which means we should see some red. So sure enough, the red, the magenta, and the yellow are all showing red. The other three are actually showing black since there's no light coming from them. So if we click on green, green plus any of the other secondary colors that have green in them should be illuminated. So definitely the green is illuminated. Cyan is a combination of green and blue. That's why that shows up. Yellow is a combination of green and red. That's the reason why that shows up. We can do the same with blue. So blue, cyan, and magenta all have blue in them, and that's why they're illuminated. Red, green, and yellow have no blue in them. That's why they appear black. Okay, to summarize, if we have something called a red filter, it's essentially a piece of plastic or glass that appears red and has transparency to it. And the reason why it is red is because it only allows red light to go through while blocking or absorbing green and blue. A surface that's red is red because it is reflecting only the red ray while absorbing the green and the blue. So if we happen to have a surface that is an apple, and the apple is red, it is reflecting the red light while absorbing the green and the blue. And that's why a red apple is red.